Hello everybody. <laughs> it's Cindy in Oklahoma and it's been a long time. Um, I'm just on my way to go pick up some groceries at Sam's. So I'll put them in my trunk. Then I'll come back home. Anyway, I wanted to call and check in with y'all. Let you know how things are going. My husband is still alive. Uh, he is kind of out of options. But they're trying a new treatment that's an infusion that is not a cure for cancer, but it should make him feel better and maybe extend his life a little longer. They're not sure about that. Anyway, he still is up uh, walking with his walker. He um, is limited in a lot of his activities, but he can hold conversations and uh, has opinions and uh, his brain is better than it's been in a while. We've had, since the first of the year, we've had two long trips, you know, 10 days to the hospital and then a month in rehab after each one of those to getting back walking and whatever. And then a couple weeks ago, yesterday, uh, I woke up, I heard him in the shower, I heard him getting in the shower, which is right there by our bed. And uh, he got in the shower and I must have dozed back off. And when I woke up, the shower door was partially closed. I could hear water running, but not full blast. And the light was still on, and I thought, oh, he's probably brushing his teeth or something. So I hollered, and he didn't answer. And I hollered again, and he didn't answer. And so I got out of bed and went and checked. I thought, oh, he's in the kitchen making coffee. And I went and looked in the kitchen. And he went in there, and it, all of a sudden it dawned on me, oh my God, he's probably falling in the shower. And so I went running back to the bathroom, and yes, he had fallen in the shower, but he just kind of slid down the wall and ended up in a shower chair. Um, he was not responsive. He was gray in color. And... Uh, you know, I called 911 and did all that. Finally got a hold of our son, and he come running over. And by the time our son got there, my husband was coming to. And his breathing was a little better, you know, and his color started getting a little better. And so they rushed him to the hospital. And once we were there, we only stayed one day. They said it was, some, it was a seizure. And he didn't have the... Um, disabilities that he always has after one of them so they let him come home that night and then the next morning we already had an MRI scheduled and that's when they found more tumor growth and the doctor you know basically said well we're kind of out of options I don't think it, there's nothing that's real um, there's a lot of inflammation she said and we can't really see it so uh, to know where the tumor tumor exactly is and all that. So this medicine will take down some of the inflammation. And we, you know, we hope if he gets strong enough, he can go back on chemo for a little while. But right now, she doesn't feel like he's strong enough for um, chemo or for more uh, radiotherapy. So, but um, she kind of prepared us for the end. So we, he wasn't given, he was given two months to two years the first time we went to MD Anderson was just a couple of weeks after he had the first tumor out. And he's already made it two years since his first surgery. He's actually been here, you know, he had his surgery the day of our anniversary, our 47th anniversary. He was here for our 48th, and he was here for our 49th anniversary. And this is going to be the 3rd, 4th of July, which is a really important family holiday. Uh, the kids usually all come home, and we, you know, we just have a good time. We have Christmas in July and all that stuff in our house. In other words, the grandkids milk me out of two Christmases. <laughs> and then we go buy fireworks 
you know, it's a big deal at our house. So, um, I hope I'm not looking away from camera too much. I'm trying to drive and talk. Um, other than that, things are good. Of course, I'm tired. I do a lot, a lot of laundry because he's incontinent. And, uh, you know, which is discouraging for him. But he is overall in pretty good mood. Likes to tease his nurses and therapists and all that that come visit. So, I'm saying life is really good and God has been good to get to hold our hand or hold us up or whatever he's done to get us to this point and still have a fairly good outlook. Happy 4th of July. I love y'all dearly. I miss doing the, uh, the week reviews. This is a voltage that I've got on. Um, I don't wear wigs, wigs like I did because I don't leave the house that much. <laughs> But I love y'all, like I said, I will see you in another video. I appreciate you and have a very fourth, a very safe.